what is going on we have an ursine ritual deck for you today um <clears throat> and this is you know the updated one from back when you know sarah's got her rework uh, basically just let me okay but the kind of idea here is based off what i saw with it was trying that video but i think he got it from somewhere else it's just throwing in some more control options so we'll cover all that but i mean if you don't know so the idea with lippy is swap your graveyard with your deck so you kind of um your first round and kind of even second round like you're trying to migrate pull everything out of your deck move it into your graveyard and have some really good units then when you flip it in like round two or round three the idea is that with oniromancy um royal decree um and even kind of hold on a second oh that was confusing me because it had the <laughs> the image glitch thing that still is prevalent anyways um things like uh well, up here now <laughs> nickers and roads they like come back out more far comes out and then you like replay super strong cards like saris and um build carl um so yeah like you're round one you know you drop saris so you spawn a drum and shield maiden use your leader to damage it pulls out these ones okay then that all goes in and then when you pull it again she spawns another one so then that's four total shield maidens, insane amount of points, really good for short round, and it's wide, right? Instead of tall, so you're playing against, you know, against all the tall removal out there. You know, uh, Vildkarl, I don't really like to use him around one, because it's almost asking to get, like, banished or something. But, you know, it can be 12 points around one, 12 points around three. Um, Nakers, you're going to see twice, hopefully around one, and then again around three. Roach, you're definitely seeing twice. Uh, Morkvar comes out when you flip it. Just really good stuff. Um, and then uh, Neuromancy and Royal Decree are there to kind of help tutor. So, sorry, um, I had to check something. Uh, we're going to control options. Heat Wave, that, obvious why that's in there for just anything. Uh, Curse of Corruption, just tall punish. Or, like, you know, if they. Uh, like you're playing shield ball and they throw down their uh Carrick frigate you know boost up just take it out or you know the on crate long ship or whichever one that pings every time you play it just take it out delirium get good score decoction uh two gunning slashes originally before steinblow got nerfed you had that but because that's taken out let me get our scalds and our skirmishers again to help draw into control and then uh squirrel Take out amphibious assaults and neuromancies and some of the other ones, other echo cards that you're not really going to see. A um, little bit utility there, but four provisions is not bad to have by any means. And then I threw in a bear master because there's enough beasts in there where it's worth it. All right, anything else I'm missing? Nope, I think that covers it. Uh, for your uh, strategium, you kind of throw in some other stuff if you want. Just throw in a magic lamp to play against tall punish but yeah just anyways to reiterate you're using your five liter charges you're using two on saris hopefully once in round one second time in round three and then your other three are on for build carl um yeah and then you also get the uh, bear abomination so like you really want to win round one, push round two, and then you're going to slap them around in round three. I mean, monsters are probably the only one who are going to be able to keep up with you in many instances for like a really short one. So it's, as the name suggests, you're going to brick a lot, and that can really hurt you. Um, but when things are lining up, it's incredible. And even if you brick a little bit, it's not the end of the world. It's um, pretty solid all around kind of and then it's the lippy decks are just fun to play because of that just nervous like okay am i gonna try it am i gonna try like trying to line everything up it's easily one of the more fun ducks i've ever touched so give it a solid recommend and we'll get into the gameplay heat waves gonna be handy for this don't make me laugh chris corruption heat wave will be extremely handy for this Okay, we got the Saris, that's good. Uh, okay, well that's definitely get out of there. And then this. Not the worst, not the worst. We actually survived the bricks. Okay. Let's 
Do we hold an alchemy card? Okay, I might need to take that out. <clears throat> One of this control rooms to make sure I have another alchemy. Estate, the. You think he's gonna have a squirrel in there? Because I could. All right, we're just gonna do this. Step Get a no rest, no reprieve. I don't care about the new knives. Just go and get that out. Best premium in the game. It'd be nice if he got a provision drop. <clears throat> Cause I really don't think it justifies, or like a little more power increase. Just mine. I was born. I shall die with it. Go ahead and curse the corruption that. We try and push it the old fashioned way. Oh, there's the I'm stupid. Um <laughs> Bye bye. I'll see you later. We're seeing the other one. Though trees live longer than humans, they need protection from them. That's just too easy, right? Like, I guess a necromancy, but just waste two leader charges. I. This can't be that easy, right? We can't call it that because that just basically means we're gonna lose. Okay, shaping nature. It's like let's get let's get some squirrel action. Uh. I want I need knickers to come out. So we'll just play this probably. Kind of slow, but there we go. Perfect. I do want I you to die, Duan. Let's go ahead and play this. That card doesn't play for a whole lot ever. It's just. I'm just kind of throwing it in there, just kind of almost as a joke, but I quickly realized now I might need to throw in some more alchemy because I have okay, I only have two alchemy cards. All right, in. but I mean another thing with Crow Messenger is pulling it from your graveyard, so like keep that in hand, and then when Lippy flips it, you know, and moves that went to the graveyard, then you can pull it out. Then okay, we're up by ten. Should we just royal decree? Because we're at least going to... Well, I want to hang on to that to make sure we get both. Whatever. We're going to play really slow. Just going to kind of be an unfortunate part of Brick City. There we go. He's catching up, though. I mean, I can build Carl if I need to, but I just... It's nice hanging on Royal Decree and a Neuromancy to guarantee that you're seeing Ceres and him again. Or, uh, again, but... To even just pull him out. Bye-bye. Okay, that's nine points. If we can get out, we have two. We got two leader charges out of him. You know, critical ones. Both Hamandryads, like, if we lose this, it's not the worst. But, this deck can get an insane amount of points. And yeah, we kind of use some of our control options to ensure we'd win this. So, we're not in the best spot, but not in the worst.
Okay, if horse protectors out. Okay, the question is do we build Carl? I guess the answer is yes. I really need to try and win this. Ten points. There we go. That worked. That was what we needed. Big old bear coming out. Okay. Can I draw Lippy? Shoot. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Well, geez. Nothing like some overseas plundering and springtime. That's not super hot. So the question is, is do we Lippy now? I mean, we're, we're almost guaranteed to see him, right? But then we're just really hoping, yeah. This is, yeah, we're kind of hitting a really weak point now. I think we're just gonna go ahead and pass. He doesn't have shaping nature, he doesn't have almondroids. There's nature abuse out of force protector, like. Just try Lippy use at least an Aeromancy to hit. Because Lippy in round 3 isn't the worst. It's not hyper ideal because you want that extra chance to try. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was getting scary. I absolutely love this card artwork though. That gold looks super nice, like that whole color palette. Okay. Or at least guaranteed Ceres. Thing is, his symbiosis could pop off the chart. I think we probably need to kill him because symbiosis. Yeah. That's going to negate a lot of value for him. We have a heat wave too, so. I just want to control the symbiosis because if you don't, oh my gosh, those trains start popping off. Yeah, so here's a heat wave. May not be the smartest, but I've got to try and control how much he gets off of that. No for Gradient Justice. Next time it'll be personal. That's some really good tempo. Yeesh. Ha <laughs> ha! Leave it to us! Alright. Time for some Activate the combo. I don't know if this is looking super hot for us though. Because we're probably not seeing the Vild Carl. Yeah. 
That's unfortunate. Hopefully we can high roll with that. Hit a Ceres or a champion. Please. 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 Won't you pester me? Why? I mean, because we drove that, maybe the better option is to play Shield Maiden. This is damage by two, yeah. Play Shield Maiden, pull that out, and then hit Vild Carl. That's probably the best, because that's 12 points versus her with the Shield Maiden is eight. So that's going to be the call. All right, we caught up the points. Uh, are we back in this? Because, yeah, he's not going to get the extra two. So, it's basically 34 to 36. Forty-six points. No! Dang. It is unfortunate. How many bricks do we have today? If we get out of there. You get out of there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this hand? That's that's too good. <laughs> you solved my problem. Holy cow. I was I was considering just not wanting to play into that because I had nothing. Like no Royal Decree, no Neuromancy, no Serious, no Vildgarl, like that round one is gonna just be terrible. Now, it's sometimes worth it to keep playing out, as you witness, but even just playing normal. Oh, come on. Don't Why? Love. Because you just never know how it goes. Like, the person could also be playing bad or get terrible draws, and you, you know, do that or have a pretty good round, too. Okay, we have an alchemy, so that's good. I don't want to brick even more. This is. We're just going to hold on to it. Super, super control heavy, but. It's actually pretty decent on the whole, because he plays Shape of Nature. Totally screw it. We've got control options. Pulling that out with Bear Master. It's pretty solid. We'll put Mahakam boots to Imperial access. He don't like you. Play Scald next. 
It's actually pretty decent. I wanted to maybe try and ping one other thing, but I was like, it's not worth it because I do not want to break on Nickers, Roach, or Sheep. There we go. There's no way he just forfeited off of that when a stupid squirrel makes a oh, new favorite card. New favorite card. Then. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. I hope. Okay. Not bad. We can... I want it's not worth it. It's not worth it with the amount of breaks. It's just not worth it. When you have something you can roll with, you just keep it. Cause there's so much you can brick off of. Like, you know, you pull the neckers, you're just like, well, there's yep. even build Carl around one if we have to. <laughs> or I just want to curse a corruption that Delane with that would take it. Boost it back up. All right, easy targets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, all right, there we go. Roach and Nickers in Grand Adventure. Coming to theaters near you. I'm willing to play through this whole entire hand, so I'll go toe to toe with whatever he throws at me. My generals, I will trust every last one with my life. to the point where he's gonna have to we might get card advantage if he can't start getting some points down oh. 
like now. Yeah, just I like when stuff like that happens because this deck is just pulling so much out. It's so nice. It's such it's easily probably top three most fun decks to play. And then when you just sit there and break, 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 it's just perfect. It just it just leads to a good time. Okay, we need to make sure we play this smart though. Okay, field car, that's good. That's good. If he's doing spy, I could see him having that. What else are we missing? Let be and heat wave. Honestly, it's not gonna be super handy anymore. going to play okay do I want to go ahead and swap or do I want to do that round three probably want to do that round three to see what I can draw so, we'll just go and play this. Because I have an air man too, so I'm hitting. What's her face regardless? I don't know how this guy's long round is going to be, because you kind of want the shorter round with this deck. Okay, Lippy, World Decree. Perfect. Squirrel at this point is worthless. Hopefully that'll go to him. Oh, but we got the he wave. Yes, this is too good. Okay, we're gonna start off with the lippy. Let's hit him with the lippy. Honestly, we maybe should have put that back. Or do I want to do anything else? Time for some marauding! Because... So Neuromancy will hit Ceres and then Royal Decree we could honestly use for another scout. Or we could use for that. But they're playing for the same. Interesting. Like the and yeah, we'll use that prey on the Jaime Scald so we can, because uh, we're drawing a card better than the Chrome Messenger. Sorry, that was quiet for a second. I was having to think, because I don't really know what I'm going into wholly. Life is mine now. I assume he's got those for the status stuff, for the hounds maybe, because this thing's really for hybrid thing, but... Okay, we'll play. Let's make sure so we have Vildkarl and we'll have Sarahs with that. Is there any other unit before I like. There's not going to be, so we're going to Royal Decree. Actually, that's scary because we could draw something that we don't. So we're going to do this. 
and he's just gonna be just a beast we throw out. Unfortunately, the way it'll be. I think that's probably the better option here. I also kind of need to like get this out the second it happens, because I don't want to discard it. I'd like to get some value, even just on a five unit. That's kind of the big concern right here. That's a wicked card art though. Perfect if he has that Joachim DeWitt. To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Don't you pester me. Okay. Math. That's probably just who we hit, just so we're not breaking on it later. Not the best, but I don't know if this guy's gonna have any giant I mean, I guess he's got the the Morphin, but with that having a simile, just get it out of there. If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. You shall know the Empress! We're just kind of sitting here chilling. Oh, what? I need to rush anything. Yeah, would have gotten better value, but I just didn't quite know, so I'm just playing it safe. We'll just play slow. I don't think this guy has any mill options, so I'm not concerned. And it'd be a lot of targets, hopefully, before we get to Sarah's, so... It'd be kind of last play stuff. Oh, the ball. Ho 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 Please uh, delight in sun and wine. Is it? Ho 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 Wait, over here. Oh yeah, because I banished it. I'm stupid, but <laughs> screw that. That's probably why I clicked this. That's probably why I clicked this. That's that's why. Oh, so glad you did. You dare venture in the wood. So glad you're dead. You're done. I'm behind by eight points, but not concerned because Saris is going to be massive. What is Saris playing for? What is. Because we already have three, so she's bun, So that's. 16? Jeez. Okay, I should have hung on to Curse of Corruption. That was a misplay. I was getting too concerned about playing wide, but... Alright, play super slow. That's gonna fill up the row. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm ready. I'm no rest, no reprieve. That's unfortunate. Stupid spine units. Yeah, I actually we're. Well, we have 18 points coming up. I should have saved Curse of Corruption. Honestly, even Heat Wave, too. Well.
Oh. You simply must pay my estate a visit one day. By one point. Wow, that, that's actually really scary. If, if I had saved a uh, curse, that would have been a complete blowout, but <laughs> we still pulled it off barely. Oh, man, these were some interesting games, not gonna lie. That was, that was a good time, and we ranked up. Perfect way to cap it off. All right, well, wrap things up. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed those very interesting games. Uh, two forfeits in round one were absolutely perfect. That squirtle onto shaping nature is the most like pristine thing ever you know aren't the giants supposed to like love squirrels right <laughs> um but yeah that, that was just too good that winning a game off of this little guy is just priceless but into the deck i you can kind of see some of the weaknesses with some of the bricking or whatever and some of your sequencing has to be really good um and in the legit game we did win at a little bit i should have hung under curse of corruption it wasn't su i should have assumed he'd have a really big unit and i was too concerned that i would um so that was misplay on my part but we still fortunately won it by one that would have been bad otherwise but regardless of that you know long round doing pretty decent but even in the kind of game we lost i hope the short round did pretty pretty good on that so some variability with there um but the main thing is I kind of hope you just saw how fun it is to play that. Like, it's uh, trying to make sure everything lines up and just hoping it's like, okay, can like this card just pull out? Like, you know, what am I going to draw? Like, it's just a really good time. So, like, even when you're not doing good, like, just not really getting tilted or mad because it's just really fun. But, uh, yeah, it's on the whole, despite all that, there's enough of a package in here to make it fairly consistent. So I'd say a lot of your games are your your kind of general like wind strategy is gonna be going off. But uh yeah, on the whole, hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next one.